Hello viewers, welcome back to Crazy Dove Studio. In this video, we will look at how to get a safe set that you have accidentally deleted back. Now let's look at a scenario where you have been assigned the task to delete save set from the network media database. Uh, now you have figured out a way to do it more easily using uh, the nsrmm command and you have uh, you are going to put it into a loop a for loop and going to run it so that it runs on its own and once it completes you will be able to go ahead and update the status that everything is deleted uh, you set up the script you start deleting the save sets but halfway you just realize that the save set the list that you use is the wrong one and you are actually deleting save sets which are valid and uh, actually are important and, need, and we're not supposed to be deleted. Now, if you panic and you just f are not able to figure out what exactly to do, so, well, this video is exactly for you. So there is a condition that you need to have in your favor in order to get a save set that was deleted back, uh, which is that the Cleaning on the data domain should not have been run once the deletion is completed. So now the data domain is unique uh, compared to other medias because or it is quite common for uh, file time devices to be honest wherein if you delete a particular save set then on the data domain there is no reference for the files associated with that save set and that is when the data domain moves this data into the clean, cleanable slot on uh, itself and whenever the cleaning runs that is when these files are purged out and the rest of the files are again rearranged into the containers and uh, whatever network it does to uh, i mean whatever data domain does to maintain its file system and speed so now let's assume that the cleaning has not run and that particular condition is favorable or uh, is in your favor and what would be the next step so the next step is to run the scanner because scanner is the only command that is going to go and read from the target device again when running the scanner you have essentially two options or two switches that are associated with the scanner command one is the minus m switch which is by default what networker considers if no switch is provided either and the other is the minus i switch the minus i switch is used to read every record within a save set so that it can generate a catalog or an index out of it and then populate the index database as well as the media database so this this particular process it is time consuming because it has to go through the entire save set and entire record um, so in our scenario or the scenario wherein you have lost your, lost your saves and want to retrieve it back immediately as soon as possible minus m is your friend so minus m is used to get the media database record only it does not go and check every record within the save set to um, uh, generate and update the index or the catalog of that particular client it only tries to scan the media and look for only save sets if you already have the save set name then you can use the or the save set id that is you can use the save set id in your command uh, with the minus i switch but if in case there are a, a, a lot of save sets that you have actually deleted uh, by mistake then I would recommend you to skip out the minus S switch and just the, run the minus uh, the scanner minus M on the entire device so that all the save sets whichever are not in the media database are discovered and uh, an entry is made into the media database. So once an entry is made into the media database, then there is a reference to those files and uh, data domain will move them back to a valid state and will not be cleaning it out whenever there is a clean cycle run so if in case if you have not disabled the auto clean on your data domain do it immediately as soon as this scenario hits you uh, so that you do not lose the files which have lost the references on the data domain so let's go ahead and generate such a scenario on our demo or test environment here 
I already have a couple of backups running. So let's go ahead and uh, get a list of save sets for a client, which in my case is the backup server itself. Now we have all these uh, backups. I'm interested only in CB backup, so let's go ahead and uh, generate a scenario wherein I have deleted this particular save set and I'm just going to copy the save set for my reference here. Okay, and to delete the save set, it is pretty simple, right? So you just have to run NSR mm minus D. I need the clone ID for this. So first let me get the clone ID for this. Mm minus D open S this one slash this one. Console is a little slow, so you might not be see it right away. I say yes. It's completed. Let me clear the screen so that I can move to the top. Run the mm command mm info command again, and you will see that there is no matches found for this query. Now, the first thing you go and do is disable the auto cleaning. So I have my data domain in here so let's go ahead and log into the data domain this is admin login with the, an admin user so if there's your personal username use that or if you're using the default sysadmin go ahead and use that and log in to the data domain system manager so to disable the cleaning, go to data management, file system, go to settings, under cleaning. Okay, on the cleaning console, under frequency, click on never and save. Now you have disabled your auto cleaning on the data domain. And the next step would be to come back to your network server and to get back your save set. So to check the name of your device, you can use the NSRMM command. So this is the device name. And we are going to use the scanner command with minus M switch. And minus S because we want to give it a save set name so that because we're just talking about one save set here. But again, if in case this is a scenario wherein you want to um, get back all the save sets that were deleted, you can use this or let me go ahead and mimic this and uh, let's just leave the minus s out and then the device name leave this and let the scanner run so depending on the size of your device it uh, take anywhere from five minutes to an hour it usually does not take a very long time if you even if you have multi terabyte data on your uh, data domain uh, again, it depends on how busy your data domain is. So let's uh, wait for the scanner to complete. So you will see all kinds of messages telling that the uh, that device is already a part of uh, the media database. Uh, this is simply because an entry is already present. And now you'll see that it is discovering all the save sets that were uh, that are on this particular volume. And the save set that we deleted should be in this uh, list somewhere. I think this is the one, if I'm not wrong. But let's wait to confirm with the NSR, uh, with the MM info command. We'll just wait for the scanner to complete. Okay, okay, the scanner is completed. And now let's go ahead and you check the MM info command that we had earlier. Just to make sure that our safe set is back. 
back and there you go so you'll see that it is in a CR mode because we have as you remember just run the uh, scanner with the minus M switch which generates only the media database information and not the index or the catalogs uh, to get the indexes back you can either run the NSR CK minus L7 to restore the indexes from index backup or if in case uh, there are no index backup then your only option is to run the scanner again this time with the minus i switch but you have ample time uh, to do this because your safe set is in no more risk of getting purged out completely uh, for more information about uh, restoring your indexes uh, or making your recoverable safe set that is the cr state to a CB state which is a browsable state you can refer to the uh, previous video uh, the link to that video is in the description thanks for sticking with me till the end of this video I hope you found this useful if you have any questions or comments share it with our community in the comment section below or you can drop me a message at my Twitter account I will see you on another video Goodbye.